Swissies after so many days without any hike, without any moving. Russ and I, we need to go. Yeah, I had a feeling that it's better when we move a little bit um, because he, he laid now a few days on the ground and just doing nothing. And uh, I thought it's, it's getting worse. So um, I think today is time to hike a little bit on the leash. Mm. But uh, I think it's, it's the best thing. I have a Bonscheiben Vorfall um, too in my back, but uh, I always need to move. So the body is able to to do some corrections, right? So let's go. It's so early in the morning. It's about six o'clock right now. But the best time and the best light. Gal Rasta, yeah, Rasta is here too. Huh? You're fine? Yeah. He's okay. He's okay to be back on the track. Hey, still an explorer, huh? Yeah. He's doing so well also off the leash because he probably knows that he shouldn't jump around like a two years old. I'm quite sure the dogs know this. When something is wrong. Langsam, you fine boy. Good boy. This mountain chain is called the Engelhorns, Engelhörner. Oh, angel horns. Yeah, they look very nice when they have some light on it. The mountain you see here, a little bit hidden, is Wellhorn. And the mountain over there, which is covered with some snow, is the Weatherhorn. And this white fluffy dog is Rasta. <laughs> In early spring hikes, there is still a lot of water in the creeks. But when you hike in autumn, everything is empty. Except of after a rainy day, but normally then it's empty. We found a small friend. You know what this is? This is a alpine salamander. Yeah. They look creepy, girl. <laughs> Yay! The sun is here now. The birds are chirping. Ah, it's perfect. So good. Oh, Shane. Looks like a lake, huh? But it's not. <laughs> yeah, it's only pretty. Soon the cows will be here. I think one more week and then the meadows are full with mini moose and mama moose. Yeah.
lives in paradise. Nice, huh? Yeah, again. Nice everywhere. We finally arrived at Schwarzwald. It's a short hike. It's about one hour, so easy to do. So this is now Schwarzwald Alp. Now you can see the weather horn so clearly with the, sn the snow on the top. Yeah, it snowed a little bit huh? on the higher peaks. So lovely. This is a historical sogi where you cut wood. Yeah, it's not open yet, but I once bought a holzbrett <laughs> to uh, cut zopf. <laughs> you know zopf? Zopf is some white bread, very unhealthy, <laughs> but very good. Come on, Annie. We do a little round tour. Come. This is like a little hobbit land. It doesn't even look real, right? That's alien. But it is. We had a great coffee at the Mountain Hotel Schwarzwald Alp. And now we are hiking back to our car and to get back home. Rasta seems to be so happy to be back to explore his world. Huh? I love it when the mountains have fresh snow on the peaks. Huh? Yeah, it looks so great. <laughs> Rasta is calling the peaks. You're calling them? I don't know if you speak the same language, Rasta. Huh? Huh? I don't know. You see the building there? This is the Rosenlaui Hotel. Huh. You can stay there overnight if you like. And I tell you now a secret. Here behind is a very nice waterfall. Yeah. Shall we check it out? We should, huh? If you are already here. We go and check out the waterfall right now. Okay? You will love it. It's just behind the restaurant.
Yeah, wanna go up? Come. Come here. Yeah, good boy. And now, hold on. Hold on. Whee! You wanna see the other side, huh? Here you are. Oh wow, now the sun is coming and the humidity is going up from the grass. Can you see it a little bit? Yeah, you can see it. Come on. Yeah, yeah. I love it. You can see it clearly over there. Come, Ali, Ali. Now the postal car is running again up to Schwarzwald Alp, so you don't have to walk all, all the valley. <laughs> This is the warning. If you hear the horn of the postal car and you are on the road, you have to move immediately on the side. Yeah, because the postal car has advantage. Oh, I love that. When it was raining in the night, and then the, the hot sun is coming. Then the humidity is going up. Looks amazing. You don't have to hike on the, on the road. There is a hiking path over there on the other side of the creek. But there is no sun. That's why I decided to walk on the road. Now you can see the Wellhorn oh, without snow or almost without snow. And just behind is the Weatherhorn with fresh new snow. That means the Weatherhorn is much higher. Oh dear Swissy, sometimes I, I know you know that feeling. Sometimes you're just disorientated. Disorientated? Yeah, you don't know uh, where to look, on the left or on the right. And then you read so many things about everything. But then you listen to your inner voice and everything is okay. Yeah, Rasta and I, we needed this hike really, really hard. Yeah, it remembered me that nature is the only healer. So it's just, I hope you enjoy it. Thanks for watching and see you hopefully in the next video. Bye bye.